When I say hello, hello. hello. I can see a few familiar faces in here. There's Alex Gilbert, that bloke there. No relation. Uh, but my whole next show is based on you. <laughs> no, it's true. He comes to my shows every year in Canterbury, don't you? And pretty much ruin them. Uh, Dame Shirley is very shortly going to sing for us, but uh, but before Rod Gilbert has a DVD out, uh, DVD out, which is this is the the award-winning mince pie. You, yeah. this is a DVD of your live show, yeah, of last year's live show so, I took to Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, Rod Gilbert and the award-winning mince pie. Yeah, because now it's <laughs> I'll laugh at that. It's good. Yeah. Well, no, you can't tell us the story of it because it's the kind of the, it's the plot. It's, bit, it's an hour and a hour odd of me just ranting and raving about. I, I, I had a nervous breakdown in Nutsford Services. Everything went wrong. <laughs> and everything was driving me bonkers. And, and then there was a mince pie, and I, that all, that's all they had to eat. And then she said it was an award-winning mince pie. Uh, I refused to move until I found out what award the pie had won. It was a. <laughs> I was having a bad day, and the pie flipped me over the edge, and I, and I ended up... But, but things do annoy you. Like, your whole new tour is mm. kind of built around the fact that you have quite a stalkery fan. Yeah, it's called Rod Gilbert and the Cat that Look Like Nicholas Lindhurst. Uh, the show. <laughs> I have a weird title every year, uh, and every time I go on tour, there's this bloke in Canterbury uh, who keeps coming to my shows, which annoys me for a start. <laughs> I get very irritated very quickly, you'll learn that. <laughs> and he keeps coming to the show, but he, he brings me a little gift every time he comes. So, two years ago, I did a show called Who's Eaten Gilbert's Grape, and he brought grapes for me. And then, yeah, you can see what he's done, right? And <laughs> last year, I did a show about mince pies, and, uh, and he brought mince pies for me. So, I've literally called the show Rod Gilbert and the Cat that Looked Like Nicholas Linders just to bugger him up, to be honest. <laughs> Just to stop him bringing anything to the show. That's it. I'm, the, I'm an angry the cat, man. Do you think a cat is undergoing surgery as we speak? <laughs> or oh, Nicholas Linder. <laughs> he told me that he... Still on tour at the moment? Yeah, I'm sort of on a little break in the tour. I've been, oh, on, yeah. I've been on tour for three months and I start again in February. What's the name of your tour? It's called Rod Gilbert and the... <laughs> you, you know what it is. I do, I just want you to say it. I know, I'm so embarrassed at my own shows. Go on. It's, uh, if the mince pie wasn't stupid enough, it's called, <laughs> it's called Rod Gilbert and the Cat that Looked Like Nicholas Lindhurst. Of course it is. <laughs> How do you think of that one, then? That, it, was, it was all because... There was this cat, right? No, there wasn't a cat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I lost it when I was very young. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and I wasn't... And I wasn't a little girl. Oh, <laughs> my, mother, my mother just dressed me in pink a lot. Oh, sorry, Rod. Yeah, Go Elsa. On, where'd you get the <laughs> <from? laughs> She'd be 27 now. Oh, no. oh dear. Yeah, uh, um, no, what was it? Yeah, no, I, every, every year when I'm on tour, like when I did that tour, when I uh, Rod Gilbert and the award winning mince pie, I went to Canterbury and there's this guy, I've got this stalkery fan bloke. And, the year before that, I did a show called Who's Eaten Gilbert's Grape, and he comes around, he, he brings me gifts right. that relate to the title of my show. So okay. that when I did Gilbert's Grape, he brought me grapes. When I did the mince pie, he brought me a mince pie. So he was annoying me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I get quite angry. I was, he was annoying me so much, I just, on the night, I just said, oh, well, I hope you're going to enjoy next year's show. And I, I had no idea what next year's show was going to be about at the time, but I said, right. I hope you're going to enjoy next year's show. It's going to be called Rod Gilbert and the Cat that Looked Like Nicholas Lindhurst. <laughs> Just to try and stop him bringing anything. <laughs> just to stuff him up. That's it. Uh, oh, it's moved on. You'll have to come and see the toy. It's moved you, on. You yeah. started this show is called Rod Gilbert and the Cat that Looked Like Nicholas Lindhurst, uh, which is a shit title. I'm aware of that. <laughs> I know it's a shit title. My agents made me fully aware of how shit it is. and It's got nothing to do with the show. That's the other thing. It hasn't really got anything to do with a cat or Nicholas Lindhurst. The only reason I called the show Rod Gilbert and the Cat that looked like Nicholas Lindhurst is because every time I go on tour, is this bloke started off in Canterbury and now he follows me around. And his name's Alex, and he, he keeps bringing me little gifts, which, if you know anything about me, you'll probably know that I find that quite irritating. <laughs> Do you know the type of bloke I mean? He's a bit of a, you know, he'll play like, and they always relate to the title of my show, the gifts that he brings. So, you what? He taught you. You know him. See, how do you know him? Seriously. All these people now think you're a plant. Do you realize that? How do you know him? He taught you. He's a dick, isn't he? <laughs> Do 
Do you know what he does? This is what, how the title came about. Is he comes to my shows and brings me a little gift. Every, did you know about this? He brings me a little gift every time, and it always relates to the title of my show. You what? He told you to bring grapes. <laughs> and you didn't. Good on you. <laughs> this is what he does. Like, cause he said grapes because two years ago, I did a show called Who's Eaten Gilbert's Grape? And he comes running to the front of the gig with grapes. <laughs> He thinks it's hilarious, honestly. He thinks it's wonderful. He's a genius in his own eyes. And then last year I did a show called The Award Winning Mince Pie and he brought me a mince pie. And so I've called the show Rod Gilbert and the cat that looked like Nicholas Linders this year. <laughs> Simply to... That's it. That's it. That's the only reason, but I'm sick of him. I'm absolutely sick of the little shit. Ruining my best coming on, it drives me insane. My agent's going mad good. It's got nothing to do with the show, Rod. You've got a, you need a title that, you know, that tells people what the show is about, a title that fits the show. And because the show is about, it's nothing to do with a cat or Nicholas Linders. The show is what my shows are always about. It's about the last year, 18 months of my life. And anybody who knows anything about me or has seen my shows before, you won't be that surprised to learn I've had another shit year. <laughs> I'm hanging by a thread, my stupid listeners. I was hanging by a thread and then this happened. Can we can see how spookily yeah. similar they are? He's an oh, idiot. Well, calm down, mate. Don't, I don't need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I've been on a weekend in Kent learning how to calm down. Well, you're not going to like this one, then. I don't like any of them. When are you going to get that into your head? What was that bloke's name? What bloke's name? The bloke, you know, the Canterbury bloke, oh, the one that brings no, all the stuff to your game. No, 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 no. Was it Alex? Oh, oh no. Rod. No. Looking forward no. to the next show. The cat that looked like Nicholas Linders. Oh, all the best. Alex. No. And look what he's done. He's found you a cat that actually looks like Nicholas Linders. He's done it already. And uh, there it is, look. Literally the worst radio in the world. You sat there with your head in your hands. Look, because... Um, just, we'll get a little bit of travel. Let's, uh, how's it going up there on the road, Ed? I'm going to kill him! What? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bloody kill him. I'm going to chuck him in a bag and drown him in the I river. I'm going to grab the take the picture of the cat just... and ram it so far up his jacks so you won't recognise either of them. You're well, I'm not overreacting. How dare you tell me I'm overreacting? Well, I suppose I'm like a two-year-old, am I? I'm like, I'm ten per tantrums. Is what? that what I'm like? I suppose I'm unremittingly trivial. I make Basil Faulty look like the Dalai no. Lama, I suppose. No said... Maybe I've got a bit of my brain missing. Well, Is that what no. you think? OK. Just go to the travel. Go to the travel! Eh?